Hello, everybody. Bugs, Bugs against Brad Hall and Bullet Loose Guide, so I suggest, I suggest you all either A, watch it, or run. Bugsy ain't. Let's just say, uh, Bugsy pro like, someone said in a video about DJ Sonic Freak talking about RT Sonic. So, Bugsy is about to let loose. So I suggest, if any of you don't want to deal with this, watch our other videos. Right now. Like, I am, I'm warning you. Bugsy is about to not hold any punches on DJ Sonic Freak. DJ Sonic Freak has pissed him off, uh, before. During the whole side forces, but who didn't piss Bugsy off during that time? Like, seriously. On Sukumari. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, folks, if you like, guys, Bugsy's about to vent. Let everything out. Let everything go. If anybody wants, if anybody has a fucking problem with that, well, fuck you. You don't know what shit. You don't know what channel you're on. Bugs, let it go. The characters and the beautiful illustrations. There are some really talented comic book artists that participated in the Son of Archie comic series. And I gotta give props for that. I mean, that's what inspired me to become a Sonic artist myself and start drawing Sonic characters. But I digress. The Archie Sonic comics is pretty solid for the most part. You see, I dropped the Sonic Archie comics years ago because of a few things that started bothering me in the series. The first thing I want to mention is the universe. Now, I don't have a problem with the universe per se because it's based off the Sonic Saturn M Sonic cartoon series and it continues directly off of that. The thing is, is that once Archie started getting the upper 100s, it started creating more and more Sonic characters that were technically uncanny. And okay, but there's more character. There would be more characters in Sonic's world than the ones we already know. So there would be new characters. So uncanny Sonic characters. Oh, I guess that's why you don't like forces. Too many uncanny Sonic characters for your liking. By that, I mean they're just pretty much fan characters. Now, some people will argue and say they're not fan characters because it's made by Archie and it's official, but in my honest opinion, I think these characters are nothing more than just fan characters. A couple that pop on the top of my head is Mighty's sister and uh, Charmy's girlfriend. Well, they're made specifically for the comic, so they aren't, they aren't fan characters. Yeah, in your mind, it's a fan character, but in my... That's like saying... Well, this, that's like saying, this, this fucking, this, Ro Rocky Road is just, that's like saying, Rocky Road is just marshmallows with, like, chocolate on it. Because that's in my mind, but really, it's Rocky Road. It's an actual flavor. Yeah, even Silver, the headshot, has a sister named Gold. You know, these characters, while there are somewhat cool additions, um, they are uncanny. They are just essentially fan They only exist for the freaking comic. What more do you want, man? Like, honestly, what more do you want? You know what? I'm going to jump in here, too. What the, f what the fuck? How you just, like, they're not canon. Well, they're canon to the book? They were. I'm talking about let's not let's not rub wounds. Let's not rub old wounds. Yeah, but Bugsy, you gotta admit, they're only con they're only canon to the book. I don't know what this motherfucker's really complaining about. Oh my god, let's just keep going, bro. I feel like we're gonna get a fu I feel like I'm gonna get a fucking migraine. Let's let's fucking bounce. Uh, fan characters, and that's when it started getting ridiculous because Archie, over a period of time, started adding more and more Sonic characters. You know, I get on Sega about creating unnecessary Sonic, but they serve the story. They make sense because 
Mobius isn't just populated with Knuckles, Sonic, Tails, Amy, and etc. It's populated with a lot of other people, a lot of other characters, and a lot of other Mobians. So I gotta say to you, duh! Like, what more do you want? But at least these characters, even the characters you find unnecessary, they serve the story to serve that part of the story. I'm just saying, DJ Sign Freak, like, the real reason I don't do mo I don't do videos on you, it's just you're just one of those people I just I, I can't like literally honestly literally What the f Hold on guys. And once again, my phone gets some stuff. Hold on. Airplane mode. character thing is a you problem because like honest to god what do you expect these characters are only canon to the books they're not un they're not uncanon sonic characters well they kind of they kind of are now with everything I'm like Martin let me just have this okay Jesus <laughs> sorry bro I gotta make it comical so you don't fucking like you don't have your fucking heart go out of your chest so I gotta, so I gotta chill, so I gotta chill you out a little bit. Sonic characters for each new Sonic game, but these guys over at Archie Comics take that idea and concept to the extreme. They just create a bunch of characters, some characters that I feel like are completely unnecessary. Uh, sure, it's cool and all, but you know why you gotta create more characters, sibling? Because it's called world building, you stupid. Ah, oh, God. Bugsy, let it go. Let it go. Let it go, bro. Let it go. No, he's a stupid motherfucker. How, like, see, this is the reason. This is the reason I always... This is the reason I want to show people more about the Archie comics. Because idiots... Idiots like him just think, Oh, too many characters. It's not necessary. They serve a point. They're... There, it shows that Sonic's world is more populated than you think. Because, it's like, you know, that's what I hate about it. Like, people are like, Sonic doesn't need a story. And Sonic doesn't need all these characters. It's like, motherfucker, what do you, th what do you think this story would be without freaking all these fucking characters serving the story? And kind of built... And kind of showing that the world isn't populated with just Sonic and the others and his other characters from the games and from the Archie and from Sadiem. Seriously, what else do you want? This is the kind of shit that pisses me off. Like, because, like, I get it. Okay, you dropped the comic because probably too much characters and shit, but, like, you've got to understand why they were put in there. <sighs> And I'm not saying I'm some great writer that knows why, but I do have a good, but I've wrote a few stories and I do have a good understanding of why they do, why they do the way they do. And you can call me a fanboy if you want, but actually, I, excuse me, I have wrote countless stories and I have tried to perfect my world building. Sometimes adding characters to serve the story to show that Sonic's world isn't just Green Hill or Not Hole or Mobotropolis or or what did Eggman call it after that? Or New Robotropolis. But I guess, you know, he's like, it's cool. Really dude. Really dude. You don't really understand why they do it. That's that's the true reason. 
don't know. Like every time, every time freaking DJ Sonic Frank opens his mouth about Sonic, I just go like, "Why are you talking? Why are you speaking about this? Why do you not get these fans? Why do you always want to think that every Sonic fan is like the probably the cringy motherfuckers you walked into?" Not everybody is like that, man. And not everybody and not everybody agrees with this because you gotta understand that the reason why there's so many freaking characters, it's to show that Sonic's world is a little bit more bigger than you actually think it is. The games don't do anything to really build the world of Sonic. The games don't do shit to build the world of Sonic. This does. But I know some people just don't understand it because they think, oh, it's just a blue head talk. It doesn't really matter. But it does. Because, you know, when I saw Archie Sonic, it showed me the real potential of what Sonic could be if Sega could really, truly, truly get this underway. This is what the Sonic comics could be. I mean, this is what the Sonic games could be. This is what the... Sh this is what the... Sh this is what the new Sonic show that came here it is getting being announced could be. This is what I hear. This is what I think the movie could have been. But no one cares because Sonic is Sonic's gentle blue hand dog. He doesn't need to get serious. He doesn't need to have like shit happen to him. He doesn't need to have every little thing happen and all this other shit. It just it hurts me, guys. It fucking hurts me and hold up. I'm gonna Either way it goes, people, it irks me. It irks me to my core. Because it's like, think about it like this, guys. Think about it like this. Think about it. When, think about it. Be me for a minute. You've been playing Sonic since you were a little boy. Since you were, since you were like three. And you start playing Sonic a little bit more. A little bit more, you just have fun with it. You like the stories, but then after a shout the Hedgehog in 06, you kind of just... You kind of just get kind of tired of the stories. Then you read Archie. Then you read the Archie comics. And at first, yeah, they're goofy. They're real fucking goofy. But when you get into it, when you get in the end game where it gets a little bit more serious... You start to think that this, that Archie Sonic has a little bit more depth to it than we give it credit for. You know, it's a continue, it's it's a sort of semi continuation of the of the of the same comic books a little bit. Ooh, it adds characters from other games. Cool. It has comic exclusive characters that not only serve the story that people actually care about. Awesome. The one thing I really just disagree with Sonic Freak is that the characters make sense. It's not it's not no one else's fault that you don't get it. Because do you get it? You say that it's cool, you do get it, it's but really none of these characters are unnecessary because they do serve a plot. They do make sense within the narrative. If you would actually really learn that and stop always talking out of your ass every fucking five minutes, Sonic Freak, you would have probably known that. But hey, what do I know? Guy that's been in, but guy that's been damn near writing Sonic since he was a teenager. What do I know about any of this shit? This would make more and more unnecessary Sonic characters. Um, so, yeah, that's one of my first rights for Son of Archie comics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Comics not to proceed with their relationship between Sally and Sonic. They don't want Sonic to be in a relationship. So, the thing that they had going on between Sonic and Sally, they had to come up with some BS to destroy it. And what they did, they turned Sally Acorn into a total bitch. I'm sorry. There's no nice way to put it. Okay, okay, okay. This I can actually dispute because I've talked about it so many fucking times. I've committed it to memory. Yes, they did make. Yes, but when you think about it from her standpoint, why Sally was angry about Sonic, 
Sonic was, she was basically hurt because Sonic didn't want to stay by her side, and she was also wanting to keep Sonic safe. I know a lot of you think that Sally was being a bitch, but when you actually have a loved one that's fucking hurt, you'd want to keep them safe. Like, do you guys know? Like, out of character for a moment. You guys know the sh every t like like I worry about I worry about any every fucking day sometimes. You know? I worry. It's natural to worry. But you know, Sally and Sonic have been risking their lives being freedom fighters all this time and you know with with Sonic being with Sonic being basically teleported and you know teleported and teleported away and everybody thought he was dead. Sally basically like in her mind saw saw Sonic die. And she's cool, you know. She's like, you know, but she was acting out of emotion because she just didn't want to see Sonic hurt. And yes, it was fucked up. And yes, the writers did writers did that just to make Sonic single again. Yeah. But I understand it from another angle than just from a just from a fanboy's perspective. Because at least I get because at least I goddamn try other than Oh, I'm gonna pull this I'm gonna pull these little factoids out of my asshole and and and, and, pr and pretty much say, Well then and pretty much say, Well then you know. This sucks because of that. Sally wasn't a bitch when we really look at it. She was more of a hurt individual that, you know, just decided to push Sonic away because you know, and then later decides to push Sonic away because she rather she she wants to be with someone who <laughs> risk his life every fucking day. And I'm not reading too much into it. I really feel like that's the real point of why Sally just kept avoiding Sonic and even went with Monkey Con for a bit because it because she's just trying to push away from Sonic. You know, she doesn't want to get involved with Sonic, but only when Monkey Con and Sally almost kiss and she pulls back, she knows she's still in love with Sonic. She knows that Sonic is the only person she really loves. Yeah, she was a little Monkey Con for a bit. We were all kind of, uh, you know, as a fan, I was kind of like, uh. <sighs> Guys, sometimes, like, this is the kind of shit that I try to combat as an Archie fan, dealing with other Sonic fans. Just, just the amount of ignorance I have to deal with on a daily, goddamn basis. Granted, with all the other, with all the other ignorant people I deal with on YouTube on a daily, on the dailyest of basis. Dealing with other Sonic YouTubers that are even more stupid and prone to getting fights with each other on another thing, and people trying to get me involved in that said fight. Peeps, all I'm saying is, you know, I'm about to really rip into Sonic Freak for a minute, so, uh, you guys, it's gonna be kind of, uh, it's gonna be an angry one. I feel like Sally should not be messing with. And, you know, this bothered me heavily. Yeah, and I, know, I think honey. the last straw that made me put TV. down Archie Comics is the fact that they killed off Sally it's Acorn really and turned her right into now. a robot. Hey, but you know they fixed it. If you want to if you wanna know how it got fixed, you know, uh, read some of the com read the comics all the way up to before the world mm -hmm. started to change. Ooh, you read the comics before the world started to change, right? And then go to RQ Sonic Online. You may find something that's actually more surprising. I know this is a plug, but it actually makes sense with what I'm trying to say. Now, I know they were not just to bring her back, but they still bother me because the fact that they're killing off Sally Acorn. They didn't kill her off! 
Even B.W. Rose has gotten mad with that shit. I was like, they're gonna bring her back. It's like, it's like when I was, it's like when I was talking to Chris, it's like when I was talking to my friend Christine about, about Andrew's Prime coming back. It's like, y'all, it's like, you guys don't get that, like, they ain't gonna kill off these characters. They don't stay dead. Like, I try to, and I even try to freaking explain that to my mom and my sister when it comes to, like, Infinity Wars. Comic book characters come back. They ain't gonna die. I try to freaking explain that every time, like, every time I talk about it. Not saying I didn't feel anything when Sally got shot. I fucking did. But I know they're gonna bring her back because, like, that's because Sonic and her main characters, they wouldn't really kill her off. Any one of your favorite <laughs> Sonic waifus just get utterly destroyed, it really bothered me. So, yeah. It's cool that it brought back Sally Acorn with her new design. And at first, I really hated her design. I didn't like how they rechanged her design and got rid of her old design. But I get where they were coming from with the whole clothes and stuff. So, yeah. that's I don't really mind. She had a vest on, people. You act like you saw, like, people act like they saw titties. Actually, this all actual fucking nipples. I'm like, dude, you didn't see shit. I didn't see shit. You didn't, you didn't see shit. I didn't see shit. Okay. It's not like it's not like these comics were. It's not like these comics were a furry peep show. And anybody who fucking says that, you are horny and you have seen some. You are seeing shit that isn't there. You need to jerk off. Or slick on if you're a girl. Over time, just became nothing more than an overhyped fan fiction, and some an overhyped, an overhyped fan fiction. Bugsy, don't! No, 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 no! It's an overhyped fan fiction, and we're just about to listen to this fucking, this fucking dude that freaking pisses on all the Sonic fans because they want to be creative and actually try to do something and make Sonic a little bit better because. Oh, well, hey, we can't have it like the fucking games. Oh, y'all want to be the fucking games? No story, no background, just Sonic running fast and saying stupid puns like Baldy McNose hair. Yeah, that's what you all want. That's all. That's what you guys want, huh? That's what you guys want. But when people like me want to fucking, want to fucking enjoy the Archie comics, we got people like you who just really don't understand... Shit from Shinola. Because, oh, Sonic's a, Sonic's a blue head talk. He shouldn't be serious. He shouldn't have. He shouldn't have character flaws. He shouldn't be able to cry. He shouldn't be able to do anything. He should just be the... He should just be a fuck... He should just be a fucking catchphrase machine who spouts up bad jokes like he's a fucking knockoff of Spider-Man. Because that's what you all want. No, he should be a knockoff of Mario... Because uh, he is supposed to be the uh, But I'm talking about the I'm talking about the modern games, honey. Oh. Bugsy, yeah, you cool? What the heck you're trying to make a reference to, then? Uh, Bugsy, you good? I think the point that you're trying to make is that you don't want him to be one dimensional the whole way through. But everybody else does. That shouldn't be the point of making a character. Making a character one dimensional is very poor. And the classic fans just don't, and the classic fans just don't give a fuck. The classic fans just don't give a fuck. Uh, they don't. I believe classic Sonic fans would want a little more dimension put back into Sonic. Nah, nah they don't want actual deep story. They want simple stories. Yes, but even in a simple story, you can have dimension. Yeah, but that's yeah, but they don't want that, honey. You haven't seen that side. I have. I'm someone who believes that character development helps make or break a story. Sorry if you hear a story in the background. I'm listening to music. <sighs> DJ Side Freak, the thing is, the thing I just can't stand about you is that you don't fucking, you don't see it. 
You don't see why people like this shit. You don't see why people like Sonic Sonic Forces. You don't see why fans really, really want to add on the Sonic's lore. Because you know in the games we don't have anything. We know the Chaos Emeralds were we know the Chaos Emeralds were there during Sonic Adventure. We know that there's chaos we know that there's chaos fucking temples all around the world, but does anyone, anyone, know where they come from? You know where you find where the chaos emeralds come from, even though it's probably like not canon to the games. Oh, the Archie comics, yeah, because they were made by a freaking person in the special zone called Feist. Can I just say, can I just say fucking a duh? Like, I get it. You guys may think I'm just being a fucking Archie Sonic comic snob. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, Sonic has more story, more character, more everything in this comic. That game Sonic will never have because Keshi Zuka. Kenshi and Zuka and the other and the other probably other writers who write the Sonic games don't really understand what they want. They did kind of pull it in the right direction with Sonic Forces and made us think that the Freedom Fighters are gonna be in it. But that's the thing. You can't just slap the you can't just slap you can't just make a Sonic War in a game and barely glance over. The thing about Sadie M and Archie is that they show you the casualties. They show you the casualties. They show you why they're doing this war, why they're fighting Robotic, why why is fighting Robotic so important. This I'm not saying I'm a better fan than you, because that'd be stupid. That'd be very fucking stupid and pretentious of me. But I am saying this. You don't get what it really means to be a Sonic fan. You don't get it. All you see is the cringe pits and I'm talking about Hey hey, I'm sorry man. I was looking at some porn before you I was looking at I was looking at sound I was listening to some sound guys before you started the video. Sorry. Seriously man. I'm trying to make a point here. I know, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Soundgasm. Yeah, Soundgasm. I've been, uh, I've been, uh, looking at some stuff. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I took my word, thank you. For what? For chilling me out, man. Because this man is gonna make me have an ulcer. No problem. Let's finish this, dude. Some of the decisions that they were making, I just didn't find to be reasonable. And I'm kind of glad Archie Comics kind of just stopped because, you know, it got really overboard and I don't think they can go any further with the stuff they were doing anyway. With all these yes, they can. Yes, they could. Um, You know what, uh, Bugsy? <clears throat> Hit it, man. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> Foxy, did you just do your it? Did, did you just do your pre escargot thing? Oh fuck yes, I did. I don't fucking give a shit. <laughs> I'm like, this man. This is why I don't do videos on him because he just he irritates me more than Twip ever could. Because he was a fan who I thought understood Sonic. And now he's going to talk about Scourge. Oh, B Bugsy, are you sure you can handle that last part? You sure? Because I know you're going to be like, mm. It's just too over the top and ridiculous to keep up with. And I don't. I no, it's not over the top and ridiculous. I actually try and read it. But you know what? I'm done, DJ Sonic Freak. I'm never going to do another video on you again. Because honestly, 
you you irritate me on so many different levels. I mean, I know none of the wind jokes, and even though he says that Sonic, art the art design comics are are weird, at least he's doing it for a joke. You know, and I've come to terms with that. But but honestly, you can keep up with it. You just refuse not to. Let's not confuse this with I can't keep up with it. Let's not confuse this with let's not confuse this with like you can't keep up with it. Yeah, you can. If you actually try. Now you motherfuckers wanna try because the moment you see that Sonic is a little bit more deeper, y'all y'all some of you Sonic fans wanna just clear on out. And I'll let that's fine. Some of you don't need to read the RT comics. And I, I make, I may, you know, and I'm making peace with that. But for the people who actually want to know more about the comics before they got canceled, that's why I'm here. So, so people like them can actually understand a little bit more about the comic in an easier way. And maybe to show people like you, maybe you can't keep up with the comics. I mean, most of the, most of the main most of the greatest storylines are in trades now, so you can read them, and they're cheap as fuck. Did I just say? Did I, did I say that? Like they are cheap as fuck right now. But hey, folks. But hey, folks. If you hate the RT and Sonic comics, we ain't, we ain't holding nothing against you. We just want you to know that. Why you guys are still complaining that Sonic doesn't have a story, yet you shun the Archie, you shun the Archie comic storyline? Just remember, we Archie fans, we Archie fans, are just people who like Sonic and think that Sonic can do way better because these comics showed us that Sonic can do way better in the story department than. Any of you give it credit for. Bugsy, the comments. Thanks, on Sakamaru. No problem, bud. I, you know, some people, you know, some people get on our nerves. Get on your nerves, get on my nerves. The RG guns is the best Sonic is the best the best Sonic there is. But Sega runs Sonic's character, I like it, I kept up with it. Mmm. I'm sorry, I kind of disagree. Ah, he doesn't give a like to this person. Yeah, because most of these fucking, most of these fucking sign YouTubers that don't, like, have, like, opinions that they don't, that they don't like, they just want people who can suck their dick. I've realized that. Just massive dick sucking. Every day. So jerk every day. Circle jerk every day. No, 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 like that's what we should say for every. That's what we should say for every YouTuber that has fans that they just agree with automatically and don't even say anything. It's it's circle jerking every day. Circle jerking every day. I know people have uh, different opinions. They have different opinions, and I won't question it. They're agreeing with me, so let's circle jerk. Let's circle jerk every day. Let's circle jerk every day. You're following my opinion and you're part of my crew. Bugsy, Bugsy, I feel, I feel a parody coming on. Like, you need to hurry up and read that. Ooh, 
this dude is explaining what I explained in a in the last time. I don't understand your logic on killing Sally. Clearly, they didn't. You say you didn't even knew that you didn't know they'd bring her back. So, what's your logic being killed up? Did Sonic when Knuckles get killed up during the Naked Madness arc? Did Jim die when he got robotized? She was an integral art. Tarji's last storyline, I'm sure Ian. Had big plans to turn her back to normal. Yes, he did. And he was going to make her gay. But let's not go into that. But I get it. Archie colleagues had their fair share of issues. But by no means, I think that they were perfect. I think you're putting all the, all the fault on the wrong reasons. Therefore, you're antagonizing people. I'm seeing people folks blaming Ian and Jubilee for the convoluted storylines. Penders and Flynn were trying to fix the mess. Ah, <sighs> yes, yes, my dear. Yes, yes, Quills on Wheels. Fun ass name, by the way. I like it. Yeah, and really, like I, like I always say, like, seriously, guys. I ain't even gonna say they were perfect. But to me, to me, it was just what I was looking for. It was just what I wanted to see. Because I grew up playing Sonic. And watching, so and watching Sonic 7 AM. And I wish there was more. And with the Archie comics, there was more. <clears throat> Maybe not more of that particular story, story thread, but what would have probably happened if Ar if Sonic Sand M was still around? You know, but hey. Mm -hmm. Let's hear what Aurora Bori Alice has to say. I'm gonna have to just I'm gonna have to disagree with the unofficial Archie characters the same game that Archie built on. Especially the same characters. They I I thought they brought new new and stunning ideas for new enemies for the comic and kept everything refreshing. I guess because having a lot of characters the multi story arcs can be annoying as fuck. But I think it can be worth it. <clears throat> Man, Aurora, I will fuck. I would fucking high five you, man. Few years later, Ian was doing the writer of the last half of the year to run. I gotta say that is the case. Ian from stated that he was a freelance. He didn't get to choose and pick which character lived or died, or what. Happened to them. Size so robotization, Sega. Antoine's death. Antoine's still Antoine's still in a coma, okay? He is still in a coma. He is not dead. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> but let's just say Bugsy is kind of reliving the trauma of Antoine being in the coma. He's he's gonna come out of it, but we don't know when. But he's the robotization, Sega. Pretty much everything happened in the latter half was Sega's choosing, not Ian Flynn's. And you know what? After what I knew, after what I know about Ian Flynn, I think it's for the better that he didn't have any real, like a lot of control. Mostly around the time of Kim Penders was the main right. Everything was. Discombobulated, crazy, 
humans. Okay, humans was okay. I don't even care what anybody had to say. Humans made sense. Sega really didn't care about the comic. They let, they let Penders have free run so he can make all the characters he wanted. That Where that majority extends, the majority of the extended family of Freedom Fighters came from the whole slew of non-canon and unnecessary characters. Back to Flynn and Penders. Non-canon characters came out to bite Archie in the ass when he was turf and Ian Fern was brought in. He talks about the lost and his lost hedgehog tales. He gave a great look at the behind the scenes of the Archie Sonic comics. And now he's gonna basically it's basically how he's gonna wrap everything up. The second thing, the Genesis Wave was the solution, was a legal solution that Sega, Archie, and Penders were having sometime before, sometime before Penders was fired and Flynn was hired. Penders put a big fat old, a big fat old, <laughs> a big old fat copyright on all his characters worlds and pretty much everything that he had written for Archie. So what happened is everything was proposed by Sega. Flynn was to write the feet in the future. Everything had to be scrapped. Everything had to be scrapped and because of copyright infringement he was taken to court. I can't remember. Well they well from what I know they they uh, settled outside of court from what I heard. So to celebrate Sonic's anniversary, they trashed the old, the old time way was trash and taking with it not so a non-canon, but nevertheless beloved comic characters. So if so, if you're following with me, we had copyright nightmares, a ton, a ton of characters and events and places caught in the blue and the reboot loomed. So guess what? The slew of new characters and, un and, uncer and uncertainty of all characters in the pre in the pre Sonic Genesis Wave universe, while this could have meant that Sega could be making less characters, <clears throat> it was taken more as a supplement to. It was going to supplement the lost characters like Relic of the Pika in the place of Julie Sue. Gold Tenric, who is not related to Silver any in any way. Yeah, Silver didn't have a sister. She was kind of just hanging out with him. And then it's Mobile and Edmund. So guess so so I guess what I'm saying is it was Sega's call to create all these characters after the reboot. I guess I'm saying, hey, that hey, I don't mind new character. I don't mind these new characters, as they keep the kind of refreshing and new. I'm sad that ended, though. Twenty plus years of history down the drain over fucking copyright. Also. Also. Rip Shard. I'm still, I'm still not over that copyrighted bastard. How would the story progress without new characters? DJ Sonic Freak don't know, guys. I'm telling you, this man talks up out of his ass and acts like he knows some things. But you know what? I'm a Sonic fan. Well, I'm a Sonic fan, but I'm not a Sonic tuber. I'm a guy who is locked into every fucking fandom and can talk about whatever he wants because I'm Bugs. I'm Bugsy Noni, and like, well, I know I should be in character saying this, but I'm Bugsy Noni, and you know what? 
This is the Big Three Box Network. We bring motherfucking chaos into your face. And what that means is we'll bring whatever we'll bring whatever this channel can provide to you in your face. No matter what. I now guys, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go heat me up a hot pocket. Because you know what? I got like I got like one of these pizza ones and it's been a while since I had one. You guys, you gotta understand, you know. I've been eating health stuff. And I need I just need a hot pocket, man. So I'll see you guys later. But remember. But remember, I'm not trying to come off of this snob of the Archie comics. I just feel like it needs to be represented fairly and not to somebody who just is just hates on it because he doesn't understand how comics work. I mean, you'd be surprised how many Sonic tubers who really just hate the Archie comics just because they don't understand how comics work. But hey, I'm not here to name names. I'm here to tell you peace. I'm out of here. Back in, and also back in character. I'm talking about anything you want to say. All I am saying is give our G Sonic comics a chance. And we're just saying go to our G Sonic comic. Go to our G Sonic online. You'll be in. With the new issue that's the latest issue that's out, you're in for a motherfucking surprise. <laughs> Bitches. <laughs> Bitches. Okay, there we go. I felt kind of flat. Bitches. Hold up, other bugs. Mm, Bitches. There we go. <laughs> that's a bar. Do you have to do that? You had you had all you had all fucking day to practice that. I know, I know, I know, I know. You're always telling me to practice. If we're gonna be doing these kinds of if I'm gonna be doing these things at the end, but I never do. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Eh, it's okay. Let's go grab us a hot pocket. Bitchin. Bitchin, let's do it. Oh yeah, guys, see you guys later. We're the Chaos Bros, and we just gave a epic time rant to DJ Sonic Freak, and he probably think we're just hating on him. But really, man, we're just saying don't talk with your ass. You know, actually, like, if you're going to make a rant about something, actually try to look up some stuff. You know, try to be... Try if you're gonna make a rant, at least make it in at least make it in form, you know what I mean? Instead of just talking out of your ass. That's all I'm saying. Because you show your ignorance and your ass by the way you just ran it. And I felt you know, and even even that one comment just comment saying you were kind of antagonizing people, and I do believe you kind of were. But then again, some people learn from Twitch playbook. Make the people rage, then more people will look at my channel. Peace. We're a bit we're the chaos we're the chaos bros and we're out of here. This video not brought to you by Hot Pockets because seriously, I don't think Hot Pockets would sponsor us. Although although we're not we're we are a little keen to pro we are like, if Pop Pockets wants to sponsor any of our videos, I'm totally down. Yeah, Hot Pockets, call me. Call me, man. Set something up. <laughs> Wait, okay, guys. Uh, we're going to go now. Bugsy is probably going to go into corporate Bugsy mode, and I, I don't want him to right now. See you guys later.